But back to the track. The third round, or third heat, of the men's 5,000 metres T54. Kurt Fernley of Australia, who goes along with Balde, one of the men who benefited from the rerun of the 1,500 metre heat just a couple of days ago. And Marcel Hoog, who is the defending champion in this from 2013. And away they go. So it's Fernley, Baldi, Blickfeld of Denmark, Sir Luang of Thailand, another Thai athlete, Tristan Smith of Canada, Sho Watanabe of Japan, James Sembeta of the USA, Gontarov of Russia, and Marcel Hugh, who is the defending world champion and the current European champion as well, as Kurt Burnley, the silver medalist at the London 2012 Paralympics, gets out to the front, closely followed by Hal Hassan Baldi of Germany. Interesting to see here that Kurt's gone straight to the front. He's already strung the field out quite a bit. Uh, the athletes in this heat may have looked at the previous heat, knowing that it was so fast, and knowing now that the pace needs to be on for these fastest qualifying spots. Well, this is the final event of day four, the third round, or third heat in the 5,000 metres T54. We saw two completely different heats already. The first one, it was a bit of cat and mouse. And that one just then we saw was a much quicker one, the second heat. But Kurt Fernley's just taken him out in that first lap and he's stuck back in there behind. So at the moment it is Balde of Germany who leads as we come down the straight. The Canadian uh, Smith and Suolang of Thailand who brings up there in the opening three places. After that fast lap, it was as if Kurt peeled off the front there, took a look over his shoulder and said, Where's the silver bullet? Because he's the danger man. Those two with the fastest times in this heat. And uh, he peeled off the front there, found Hug, and is now sitting right behind. Well, I, th I think this is certainly about conserving energy for Marcel Hug. I think he thinks that he's got the ability to go through, or he should have the ability to go through uh, to the final and finish in one of those top three places. So I think for him, it's about conserving a bit of energy and running his own race. So people will be concerned about Marcel Hoog because they'll know that he's very, very good. But the Thai athletes have been outstanding during this championship so far. And another one goes out to the front, an Ampai Sua Luang of Thailand who takes the lead out. He's followed there behind there by the Canadian Tristan Smith. And in third place, it is the athlete from Russia, Ivan Goncharov, in third place as they all slipstream each other and work their way around the back straight. Sewer Lang, 10.23, lifetime best of this year. At least the second slowest of the field, but Thailand have really come on leaps and bounds in the wheelchair racing, particularly in this World Championships. It's been fascinating to see the development. We've seen just how good an athlete our Tan has become. And, well, Sewer Lang, previously unheralded, 42 years old now he is. Just to see how he can develop things in this semi-final. Again, it's the first three who come through. It's interesting how straight away Fernley shot away in the front, and then the it's the reduction of speed. Nobody burnt off yet. Tristan Smith leading. Four Canada. Then it's Goncharov. Then it's Hoog in third place. Then it's Fernley in fourth. And then it's Watanabe in fifth for Japan, and the rest just tucking in behind. But no real trouble for anybody at the moment. Balde there for Germany and big fell for Denmark as well. Well, I know Kurt Fernley's helped coach Reid McCracken as well, hasn't he? So he'll have to take a, a page out of his own book of listening to what he needs to do to himself as when he talks to Reid McCracken for Kurt Fernley. He's in fourth place at the moment. Marcel Hoog there just in front of him in third place. He'll be using him as a bit of a marker there as Hoog all of a sudden moves through to the front of the field, taking over the lead from the Thai athlete. And by Sue Luang, who moves back slightly. So it's Marcel Hoog, defending champion in first place. Kurt Fernley of Australia, who's in second as they move in to the home straight, coming up to the four minute mark and coming down towards the home line. Fernley in second place, Hoog out in front. Balde's in fourth place. In sixth, in third place, it's Watanami, the Japanese athlete. And we have eight laps remaining in this men's 5,000 metre T54. Third heat in round one. Now I do know that Marcel Hu is a big fan of pancakes and dark chocolate and when they're together, an even bigger fan. So I thought maybe a couple of the Australian athletes could come down to, with pancakes and dark chocolate for the final. 
and we could be able to distract the silver ball. Well, you may think that Kurt Fernley has pancakes and chocolate out in front of him at the moment because all of a sudden Fernley's gone to the lead, so Hoog is going to go with him. And it's Balde who's in third position at Pleasant, the German, the silver medalist in the 2014 European Championships. But Kurt Fernley leads us down the straight with Marcel Hoog, who is behind him. It is Balde of Germany who is in third position and is the number Watanabe of Japan who takes up fourth position. Look at a very good position right now with seven laps to go. 2,800 metres, Balde was one of those who was uh, involved in that big crash, that famous big crash in the 1,500 metres semi-final. Fernley, good position for him, just tucking inside. Balde making a bit of a move alongside and Watanabe, the 10,000 metres bronze medalist from the last World Championships in 2013. Japanese also up there in the top four. Still all very well, tightly bunched together at the moment. Pace really fluctuating. Hooger's had his time at the front. He's moved away to the side. And Fernley, who's been winning major championship medals since 2000. A couple of silvers at Sydney 2000. He's won two in a row, the Commonwealth Games, 1,500 metres, gold medals. He's out in front, we've got six laps to go. Well, Fernley looks as though he's on a little cruise in the Sunday afternoon at the moment out there with his uh, left arm just Chris pushing him along. He's split out to about 20 metres in front, has the Australian athlete. He's left the field behind him. Is this going to be the break that Kurt Fernley's going to make? Where's Marcel Hoog? He's in the middle of the pack there chasing. He's moving around the outside now, is the defending champion Hoog. He said, I've had enough of this, Kurt Fernley. You're out in front. I'm going to come and catch you. As Fernley moves on in front, but here comes Marcel Hoog around the outside to catch up with Kurt Fernley at the front. It's going to be two of them out in front. Now, what's going to happen in behind? Are the rest of them going to go with them, or are those two going to stay with each other and maybe even move back? Well, Hoog has moved around the outside now as we move into the home straight, three laps remaining in this race as who five laps remaining as who moves around the outside, Kurt Fernley, who is with him, and the rest, well, they may be ready to battle it out for that final spot because they haven't made a move to go with Marcel Hoog and Kurt Fernley. I do know that Kurt Fernley and Hoog get on quite well, so this could be a, a pre-designed move where Kurt was going to go off the front and Hoog was going to stay back so that it didn't look like the massive break that everyone was waiting for, then Hoog would make his move. Well, Tristan Smith of Canada has fallen out the back, so his race has been run, but at the moment it is Marcel Hoog who's in second place, and it is Kurt Fernley who's in first, and the rest are way, way behind. It is Balde of Germany, and the Thai athlete Sua Luang of Thailand who is in fourth place at the moment but look at these two out in front they have turned the screws haven't they and they're working together I think they realize that they're going to go through as the rest come across the line it is Balde who's come across in third position and it is James Sembetta of the USA who has gone across in fourth and the rest are really going to have to work together to try and pick up that third place main group there who are way back it's around 100 meters now they have fallen back so much that the Russian Natalie Goncharov, who got way, way back. He was in last place a few laps ago. He's caught them up. Smith taken out of it entirely, but they are all bunched together. It's going to be a big battle for third place. And Goncharov, suddenly, when he was out of the race, because of the way this race is split up, now finds himself in a big position that he could go through. Three laps to go, and it's firmly leading hook. Well, Fernley and Hoog, the real battle, though, is what's going on in that group behind. Those two, at this stage, unless they crash, are going to go through in first and second. In the group coming in behind, it's Balde, who's there in fourth place, and it's the American athlete, James Embedder, who's in third at the present time. And the Thai in Ampai, Suoluang, well, they're just taking their time, aren't they? They're going to make a sprint for it come the end as they move around. A group of six athletes who are there, and they are really going to have to make a move. And don't discount the Thai athlete or Balde, they've got some finishing power, but it's around the front. In first position, still Hoog and Fernley who lead. Fernley out in front. Who they're about to catch up with Tristan Smith of Canada, who's about 50 or 60 metres in front of them. They're going to lap him as they come across the finish line. 
And this is really moving along now. Two laps to go. There is the last 800 metres, but the rest of them are at least 250 metres behind the group who are chasing there, uh, led by Sam Betta of the USA and Balde of Germany. They're really going to have to work hard. And who is going to make the move from that group? Are they going to go early and try and sprint away, or are they going to wait until the last 50 or 60 metres, but way out in front on the far side? And it's Marcel Hu and Kurt Fernie who are about to lap Tristan Smith of Canada. This second, this chasing pack now is playing the waiting game. Who's going to make a move? Who's going to work with who? And who is going to be able to out sprint who? in the final stages of this race. Well, I tell you now, if Marcel Hoog and Kurt Fernley have put the um, pedal to the metal, they'd almost catch the group that are in front of them. So far, are they in front? More than 200 metres at the moment they are in front, and all of a sudden there's a bit of a move on on the far side. Now, Fernley and Hoog are going across. They're just talking to each other. They're going to take first and second position. The battle is raging on behind. There's 600 metres remaining for the group who are behind. That is Sam Better of the USA, and it's followed by... Valde of Germany and the Thai athlete Su Luang who's in fifth place and there's a whole group of them there as they come down towards the finish line they'll take the bell as well and they'll have 400 metres remaining and they're now breaking out to a group of three Sempeda, Valde and Su Luang who are out in front a three group there they're starting to splinter in that group as well three out in front as we head around to the finish line for the two who are in front Kurt Fernley and Marcel Hu that's almost become a bit of a sideshow now such as the distance they've got in front. It's Hoog who's in front across the line and he'll take it by half a length to Kurt Fernley. But it raises on behind. It's all of a sudden picked up. Baldi of Germany has moved along and Sue Luang has gotten with him. It's only one more who qualifies automatically. There's two in it now. Baldi out in front in third place. Sue Luang in fourth. That's what it's going to be between those two. It's a two horse race now as they come down. Baldi's got out in front. Sue Luang's gone with him. He's got on the outside but is he going to have enough to catch Baldi? It doesn't look like it at the moment, and it is Bali of Germany who's going to take third place and move through to the final. Well, that there was certainly the most interesting of the three heats. Fernley in second place with Hoog in front of him in first, and it is Al Hassani Baldi of Germany, the silver medalist in the European Championships last year, who goes through in third place. But 11.23.84 is his time. The Marcel Hu, 10.55.62 for him. And Kurt Fernley, 10.55.78 in his position of second. Balde there way back, 11.23.84, but he will go through at 11.24 for Sue Luang. Will probably be enough for him to go through as one of the fastest qualifiers. Those times there for both Hoog and Fernley over a minute outside their personal best. A uh, bit of a walk in the park there, a bit of a formality. The rest of the pack though, working hard in those closing stages to discover who was going to get that automatic qualification through to the final. Well, it just shows you, doesn't it, how they were really just taking their time and doing it ever so easily. They made a break with around four or five laps to go or more and then from there it was just a case of get themselves out in front and they increased that lead to almost 250 metres and if the race would have gone much longer and they've really put the clappers down they would have almost catched or caught rather the uh, chasing pack there is Marcel Hu, the silver bullet going across the line in the all black with number nine and Kurt Fernley in the goal, there you go that tells you a lot doesn't it Tells you they respect each other as athletes, but they're also saying, well done, we did our job, we're through to the final. It'll be a lot more interesting when it comes to that there. Qualification of Hoog, Fernley and Balde who go through. So we know nine who are definitely going through to the final.